Dear friends, uh, welcome back to Data Analytics Talks. In this video, I would like to look into the architectural diagram for the master data management capabilities of Microsoft Azure, especially with a tool called Prophecy and Data Factory. This architectural pattern demonstrates how incorporate master data management, also called MDM, into the Azure Data Services ecosystem to improve the quality of data used for analytics and operational decision making. You know, the MDM solves several common challenges. They include like identifying and managing duplicate data using match and merge, flagging and resolving data quality issues, standardizing and enriching data, allowing the data stewards to proactively manage and improve the data. This pattern presents a modern approach to MDM. All technologies are deployed natively in Azure, including Prophecy, which you can deploy via containers and manage with Azure Kubernetes service. So you understand that Prophecy is a native tool available in Microsoft Azure for implementing master data management. So we can deploy that as a container or we can use Kubernetes services. So looking closely at this diagram, we can see there are a couple of data flows. It starts with source data load. You know, every data system will have sources, the data flow, data flowing into the system. And the sources are heterogeneous, including its uh, type. So the first of all, it is a source data load. The source data from business applications copies into Azure Data Lake. You know, you see there is a flow from the sources into Azure Data Lake storage. If you don't understand about the data lake storage, please spend some time uh, understanding data, the types of data lake storage and particularly the data lake storage Gen 2 which has the hierarchical data feature. Why, why do we need this data stored in data lake storage? It is further taken for transformation and uh, used for downstream analytics. And if you closely look at the source data, there are three types of um, data in the source. There is structured master data, structured transactional data, and uh, unstructured data. So what is a structured master data? A structured master data is the information that describes the customer, products, location, and so on. So master data is a low volume, high complexity, and changes slowly over time. Maybe the quality is one of the most crucial thing that every organization struggles to maintain over a period of time. And secondly, it is a structured transactional data. So business events that occurs at a specific point in time could be order, invoices, and other interactions. The transactions include the matrices for the transaction like sales price and reference master data like product, customer involved in a purchase, and so on. And finally, there is also unstructured data. So unstructured data is a data that can include documents, images, videos, and social media content and audio. So unstructured data to learn new insight. Unstructured data is often associated with master data such as customer associated with a social media account and so on. Then the second data flow is uh, the source master data load. We have already loaded data into data lake storage and from there it goes into the MDM platform. There are many MTM tools available. So the Prophecy is a native tool that comes with Microsoft Azure. And you know, the master data from the source business applications load into the MDM application ASIS. There is no change. With the complete lineage information and minimal transformation. So all the transformation, everything like uh, the match, merge, and enrichment, everything happens in the MDM tool itself. And there is an automated MDM processing. What happens in automated MDM processing? See the 
data has come as it is to the MDM tool. And the MDM solution uses automated process to standardize, verify and enrich data, identifies data quality issues, groups duplicate records like duplicate customers and generate master records and called a golden records. Even we had a very detailed discussion on the golden record, how golden records are created. And if you have any idea about the golden record, you can refer to that video. And there comes an intervention of the data stewards. Who is a data steward and data stewards who owns the data. And what he does is review and manage the groups and match the rec unmatched records, create and manage data relationship fill in missing information and resolve all the data quality issues. So data stewards can manage multiple alternate hierarchical roles up as required. Then we have the managed master data load. So after the transformation, the cleansing, the matching and reaching, we get proper managed master data from the raw data. So that that is loaded into our data warehouse. So the high quality master data flows into downstream analytic solution. So this process is a parallel process that is happening data flow. Then coming to the another set of flow that is a transactional and unstructured data load. The transactional and unstructured data loads into the downstream analytic solution where it combines with the high quality master data. So we have the Azure Synapse platform workspace. There is a, an association of the manager master data and the transactional data. Then finally comes the visualization and analysis. So data is modeled and made available to business users for analysis. The high quality master data eliminates common data quality issues, which result in improved insight. So overall, if you look at how the Azure platform works with the Proficy tool. The data source load loads into a data lake storage. Then the data lake storage, the one flow loads the raw data as it is into the MDM platform. And MDM platform makes sure the data is set its required quality. And uh, the managed master data is the output of this uh, Proficy that goes into the Azure Synapse platform or workspace. Also parallelly, there is a Azure Data Factory which loads the data from Data Lake into the Azure Synapse workspace and the association between the master data and uh, the transaction data happens here. Then again, that is distributed to the, uh, the, the analysis and uh, machine learning or visualization that is the simple architecture so if you want to understand uh, the components by components here we have the azure data factory a data factory is a hybrid data integration service that lets you create schedule and orchestrate your extract transform load or extract load and transform activities then we have the azure data lake Azure Data Lake provides limitless storage for analytics data. Then we have a tool called Proficy. What is that doing? It's a scalable MDM platform that is designed to easily integrate with the Microsoft ecosystem. Then we have Azure Synapse. So it's a fast, flexible and trusted cloud data warehouse that lets you scale, compute and store data elastically and independently with a massively parallel processing architecture. Then we have something called uh, Power BI. So the Power BI is a suite of business analytics tool that delivers insight throughout your organization to convert, connect to hundreds of data sources, simply data preparation and drive improvised analysis. Produces beautiful reports, then publish them for your organization to consume on a web and across mobile devices. So remember, in this architecture, we have seen Azure Data Lake, Proficy, Data Factory, then Azure Synapse, Workspace, and Power BI. Those who ask me what we need to study after my college, concentrate on 
this kind of tools like Azure Data Lake Storage, Data Factory, Azure Synapse Workspace, tools like Prophecy or any MIMDM tool, then visualization or reporting tool like Power BI. Thank you.